Hey there everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe from Monroe World and today I've got a cool little device to show you. This is a USB 3.0. It's essentially an external docking station for you to put 2.5 inch drives, like say an SSD or an old laptop hard drive. And uh, I thought this might be fun. I mean, this is a fairly common uh, item and a lot of people don't think about it. And uh, since I had one handy and I had it all hooked up, I thought I would show you around. So this particular drive uh, bay, as you can see, is very aesthetically pleasing, which is one of the reasons why I got it. It's unusual. It doesn't look like a square black utility box. It looks like something kind of sleek uh, and fun to have on your desk, perhaps. And this guy's pretty simple. You just pull the top off. It's magnetically uh, connected, and it's got room for four SSD drives. I happen to have two in here right now. I've got room for two more. On the top is an active cooling fan that's powered. And then uh, you just put this guy on, you plug it in, it comes with the appropriate power supply that you need to run four drives. And kind of a little on the short side for a, a USB 3 cable, this is a 3.0 device. Uh, you can look at the back side, we have our standard uh, USB 3 drive connector and power. This is a very basic device. On the front, we have a fan toggle switch to toggle the power to the fan on and off and a power button along with four LEDs that light up when the drives are running and active. There's no tools or any sort of mounting to do here. The drives are right here. They just slide right on in. You see them. And that's it. I mean, that's all there is to this guy. Now, um, the common question is, uh, is this, does this do RAID or anything like that? Mirroring, striping, any of that good stuff? The answer is no. This is what's known as a JBOD or just a bunch of disks. So when you plug this in, every drive shows up on your computer as a drive letter and you have instant access to the drive. You don't have to pre-format them. One of the reasons I didn't want RAID is I wanted all the disks to have the maximum amount of disk space, um, as well as uh, I had data on these drives. So I really didn't want to reformat the drives to use them in any sort of a RAID configuration. So I was good for this being just a simple drive enclosure, right? So before this, you um, you may have some devices, uh, yeah, something like this guy, right? So this is a simple external drive case that I could have put, uh, this, in fact, this is where these came from. You just have one of these little guys right in this little external case. Let me slide out. Right, so you could plug this into that and plug this into your computer and you have an extra drive. Maybe you could use this as a portable drive and run it around. The one thing I've noticed is when I pull drives out of my computer, and let's be honest, we don't typically pull drives out because they fail or there's a problem with them. We pull them out because they're too small. We just have a 70 gigabyte update for Call of Duty Cold War, for crying out loud. Uh, I, I need a bigger drive. So you pull a perfectly good working drive out and you put a nice big fat new drive in. And guess what happens to the old drive? You, you want to put it in one of these and say, I'm going to make use of it and I'm going to you know, I'm gonna use it as a portable drive. I'll give it to my wife or my kids or whatever. And then what ends up happening is it sits in a drawer and it does nothing for you. In reality, it's a perfectly good drive. So I thought, I'll get, my, I'll get those drives and I'll put them in this very nice case. I'll put it neatly on my desk and I'll have access to all of that drive space. Now look, it's USB 3.0. It's fast, but it's not that fast. So you're not going to want to like run streaming texture type games off of here. But if you're talking about holding movies or tons and tons of data or files that you need access to at a relatively easy basis... Uh, this is great. I mean, this was about 50 bucks, right? And it's uh, Sabrent, so I mean, these guys have been around for a while. And as you can see, the case was really nice that it came in. It comes with a little flip up, and, and it was packaged very nicely. Usually Sabrent has some really cheap cases, but I thought this was amongst one of the better ones that I've seen. And uh, so far, so good. I've had it a few days, and it has been right as rain, no problem. So it passed the burn-in period, right? All new electronics, you give it 24 hours. If it's still holding up, you're probably okay. The cooling fan is active, which is great. Uh, one thing I will tell you is this got shipped from Amazon. I have a link in the description below, of course. Um, it comes as is. This is what was actually dropped off on my doorstep. So they didn't put it in a box or try to hide what was inside of it. I had to peel the label off, which is why there's still a little piece of the label on here so that you can see what the front of it looks like. Not a big deal, but I thought it was worth mentioning anyway. All right, so anyway, this is the Sabrent 
USB 3.0, four bay, 2.5 inch hard drive SSD docking station. This is just a bunch of drives, no RAID, no striping, no mirroring. Just stick the discs in and they just freaking work, which is what a lot of people are interested in doing. And it's got active cooling for those of you who are worried about heat and the fan is very, very quiet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much. Of course, like this video, subscribe, check that little bell at the bottom so that you get notified of this and other great videos. I'm Shane Armonroe, and as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care.